session on analyzing a drawing based on a dream using active imagination by Carl Gustav Jung and always playing homage to Freud interpretations of a dream and beyond one of the best books I've ever re uh, read in my life read it a long time ago and men and symbols are right there as my favorite but anyway let's dive right into this um, you know uh, this was based on a dream I had back in February 8th that triggered um, symbolism and I was going through um, a really hard time with my model once again we're going to refer to the model let me get the exciting uh, pencil here uh, the exciting pencil that I use for quantum drawings psychoanalytical quantum drawing based on active imagination by Carl Gustav Jung where you activate an artifact on paper, doodling, drawing, journaling. So I put some stuff here. So this was really interesting because today I had my th therapy session with my psychologist and the kind of work we do is very much based on how I process uh, my, my emotions, right? My emotions, I have to see them visually, like quantum mechanics. If I don't see it in a topology of mapping, uh, quantum does not exist for me. So I, like Niels Bohr, need to see the topology. So here I need to see the dream. Okay. So this is a, a this is the, the drawing of a dream. Drawing a dream uh, after a dream and trying to make sense of it. And now it makes sense uh, many months later, what, eight or nine months later, especially when it was analyzed today by the therapist. So here is a leg, uh, look like one leg is in, one leg is out in the relationship. And he thought the arrow was very interesting. And here, here, here I am, the self-portrait and the uh, model um, of the long-term relationship or the whatever partner. But this is uh, the format we use for these analysis based on Pablo Picasso, the self-portrait and the model or Francis Bacon, the artist, not the philosopher, Francis Bacon, the artist on the model and the artist. Okay, kind of is an inversion where the uh, for Francis Bacon, the model really plays a big role how he deforms through geometry deformation in quantum, the non-Euclidean room and his paintings, where how his emotions really has an effect on his, his, on his whole uh, three-dimensional space, okay? So here is the arrow and here is the backstabbing, okay? So the dream was based on this disgusting sinful acts of love where she's hiding stuff she's a sneak she's a snake she's juggling me with other lovers uh she's hiding it but you know the interesting thing was she always had an issue with my character she always had an issue with my values she always had an issue with my spirituality okay without getting into the specific of it so in the uh he the psychologist thought how interesting the foot is ready to what kick me in the in the balls in the phallus right so she not only she wants to kick me in the phallus in the balls uh she wants to make sure that this area is injured right so no one else can come and utilize this area not even myself but most important it's a double whammy attack she attacks what my soul she attacks my essence she attacks my quantum energy she attacks my collective unconscious the dagger is in a form of a cross uh, I process this many times in uh, therapy I've been in psychoanalysis for 22 years every time I get pissed I feel pain in this area of the shoulder here uh, probability factor in the collective unconscious maybe there was a stabbing and a past regression in the back and I was led to die what the hell, 6,000 years ago, 600 years ago. It's just symbols and metaphors. Um, so the reality is a double attack, which she was very effective until I was able to stop with my weaponry. Wep the weapons that you have are not weapons like swords and guns and knives and rocks. It's the weapons of the work you've done and your in your collective, in the work you've done, the hard work you've done, almost like going to the gym, and you put that in a toolbox. So 
And it's really interesting. I just had an accident uh, about an hour ago. A cinder block felt on my left foot, which I have an injury, Achilles tendonitis, where every time that I had uh, an, uh, an issue with the model, uh, it would flare up. So I would go out there and the cinder block fell on my foot. And there we go again. I have a bruise, uh, limping, but that's good because I see my left foot as a shield, as a helmet, where I will not get battered in my heart anymore. This here, these energies, look how interesting. These quantum energies, there's a loop here, quantum loop gravity. Uh, loop Quantum loop gravity is the, the uh, kind of the latest thing in string theory for the last 20, 30 years in quantum mechanics. So this loop protects a barrier, a quantum barrier. You would say that would be the collective unconscious. That's the work he did with Wolfgang Pooley. Wolfgang Pooley was a Nobel Prize winner, 1955, I think. I haven't read this in a while, of quantum mechanics on subatomic particles called neutrino. These are subatomic particles that are faster than the speed of light, okay? Without getting into the technicalities of it. So this shield is my quantum shield, right? This is the quantum shield, meaning I'm done. I can get better on my foot. Look at this. This is exposed. You have to have a level of exposure. Or else you would be completely in a bubble. And that's not healthy. You have to have a level of exposure where you can be victimized. But where? Not here. Not in the soul. Not in the heart. We're done with the cycle. No more abuse to what? To my emotions. No more, more, no more abusive entanglement of emotions and roping and belting and stabbing to what? To my heart, to my soul. That's what I got out of this uh, exciting, stimulating drawing based on a dream. And today it was re-psychoanalyzed many months later. And I got really happy, really happy. Uh, it's interesting. I'm seeing 717. This is it. Bye.